Hi everybody, this is Eugene O'Loughlin and welcome to my series of short how-to videos. In this video we're going to learn how to add a legend to a histogram in R. So first of all let's take a look at my code setup before I add a legend to a histogram. In my previous video, which is number 35, uh, we learned how to create this hist height histogram showing the height in centimetres of females and males and plot them in an overlapping chart. So we could see that the uh, pinkish colour is represents the females, the blue colour represents the males and the purple colour represents the overlap between the two. But what's missing from this um, histogram here is a small legend telling us which one is the male data and which one is the female data. So that would make the diagram a little bit more complete. So we read in the data in line 5 and 6. We plotted, first of all, the female histogram. And very importantly in here, one line of code I want to draw your attention to is on line 9. This is the colour. So how did we set the colour? So we set it using the RGB, which was the red, green, blue function. And uh, we need to be able to pick that information up for our legend because we want our legend to indicate the colour as well as the name. So first of all, uh, when, once we've plotted the chart, we need to uh, generate some labels for our legend. Now in our, in our data file, uh, the data file represents males and females. So let's create a vector called labels and assign it uh, using the combined function. Uh, the two words, females, uh, is the um, first one and males is the second text label. So this is uh, going to create a vector called labels, which has uh, two measures, females and, and males. So let's run that. And we can see in, in our, if I look in the um, global environment area, we can see that we've created the value labels, uh, it's character, uh, there's two values, females and males. So we have read that information correctly there. Next, I need to use uh, a function that was going to plot the legend for me. So this function is called legend. So leg open and close brackets. Now in this function, there's quite a few things that I want to add in. The first thing is I want to position the um, legend little table in the top right hand corner of my histogram. So the first thing to add in here is uh, in uh, no parameter necessary, just in inverted commas, uh, top right. So just make sure you get the spelling right there. So that's going to position my legend in the top right hand corner of my diagram. And then what are the legend labels? Well, I created a very a vector on line 17 called labels. So the legend for this is equal to my labels vector that I've just created. Comma and press enter to move down to the next line. You don't have to do this, but I'm going to run out of space. So I'm going to do add in these pieces one by one. So a few things uh, that I need to create uh, represent the size and the distance from the edge and the shape of the legend symbol. So let's look at size first of all. So the CEX parameter is going to give me the size. So I'm going to put the size down as 0.8. You can experiment with values here when once you've got the, uh, the hang of this code. I want my uh, legend to be inset slightly from the edge because sometimes if you don't do this, uh, a part of the legend box might, might disappear. So my inset, I'm going to just do a very small inset here, is equal to uh, 0 0.01. Again, once you've got the hang of this, uh, you can change these values to see the effect. And then the size or the shape of the symbols is, is set by the PCH parameter and I'm going to choose uh, parameter number 15 here and that will give us uh, the shape that we want on our of the, of the of, of some dots on our label. And now finally then for the legend we need to indicate the two colors. So the two colors that I'm going to choose are first of all from line 9 I want to choose the function RGB 1000.5 um, and then for this from the second function RGB 0, 0, 1, 0 0.5. So these are the colors of the male and female data. All right, so first of all, uh, I need the color parameter is equal to, and I'm going to combine uh, both the colors for the females and the males. So this combined function, uh, RGB is how the uh, data has been described. So the first one is one for females, 0, 0, and 0 0.5. And now I need to move down to the next line, otherwise I'll just run out of space in my RStudio window. And then the second RGB, which, I, which if you can see on line 15, was the RGB color that I added in for the males. So I'm going to put that in, RGB, open and close bracket, 0, comma, 0, comma, and 1, comma, 0, 
0.5. So if you look carefully at these pieces of code, you can see that my uh, values in the RGB function match the two that are further up my code. And we're now ready to, to um, add the legend. So to remind ourselves, the legend function is going to be placed in the top right of our diagram. The legend is equal to the labels, which I've just created on line 17. CEX represents the uh, inset, um, the, sorry, the legend box size. The inset represents how far it's going to be from the edge of the, of the diagram. The PCH tells us our shape. And then the really awkward one then is specifying the two colors. And these, as I'm to remind you, should match what we've already set when we drew the diagram. So hopefully, let's hope that this is all okay and click on the run button. And we can see on our diagram here on the right hand side that a nice legend has been added into our diagram. Let's zoom in to see a, a better picture of this. And so we can see um, that the uh, pink color represents the females and the blue color represents the males. So we can change the size, the positioning of this chart, the shape of the, of the, uh, the PCH is set to 15 here. So we can, uh, this is square. So if we want it to be circles or, or stars or other shapes, we can change those. And now we can look at our histogram and uh, the person uh, reading your report or reading your assignment will now know from this what the colours represent on this chart. So uh, I encourage you to experiment with these values to move the, the legend around or to change its shape and change its size. Um, and um, you, you, when you get the hang of it, you will be able to change the colours and so on as well. So that's how you add a legend to a histogram in R. I hope you found this video useful. Thank you for your attention.